Coucou les puces, hello my love, my, my love, blah, blah, blah. let's try that again. Coucou mes puces, hello my loves, marhaba habibete. I am here today to talk to you guys about my updated skincare routine. I promised you that once I had given it a couple weeks to see the actual results, my face is itchy today. Um, I haven't started hiccups yet, but I'm sure that'll happen probably in this video. Um, my body decides to act out as soon as I sit down to film. That is the, is the moral of the story. I wanted to give the new skincare routine a couple weeks before I sat down and talked to you guys about it. So I had, it had a chance to um, show an effect. So it's been about five weeks and I've been loving, loving, loving the way my skin's been feeling. Um, the, I basically, like I have today, of course, Murphy's Law, I've got two little hormonal breakouts, but I haven't been getting any more, any more, I stress, of those cystic breakouts on my cheeks. I don't know if you understand what it is like <laughs> to feel like this, but in two and a half years of actually putting effort into my skincare, nothing, nothing has stopped the cystic, like the, 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 the cystic breakouts that were happening on my cheeks until we found this combo. I still get the occasional breakout, and I think that's important to talk about because you're never not going to break out. <laughs> there are hormones, there's stress, there's the environment, there's wearing 18 layers of makeup. Like there's just stuff that's going to cause you to break out. But if you find the right products that work for you and your skin feels balanced and soft and moisturized and not breakouting, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So um, I was going to sit down and film this for you guys. Um, I've been using basically the same products just in rotation. Um, and so let's just get into it without further ado. Why well, instead of me continuously just rambling at you, um, let, let me tell you what it is that I've been using. So in the morning, I'll just do a first cleanse and I've been really enjoying using something like the MV Organic Skin Care 9 Oil Cleansing Tonic. It's a nice oil-based cleanser. I know people use this kind of more as a treatment and do the whole um, like hot towel compress and what have you. I just use an oil cleanser. My other favorite oil cleanser is the one by Tata Harper. I think it's the nourishing cleanser. I love, love, love that one. But a nice oil cleanser is just lightweight, easy, quick, has that beautiful scent. So there's a little bit of self love, self care in there. Um, and it's kind of the first step to my day. So I use this as a first cleanse in the morning and then a second cleanse in the evening. In the evening, I want to use something to take off my makeup first and then kind of something to take care of my skin. So I use this as a, in that way. As a first cleanse in the evening, you guys know. It's the Emma Hardy um, Moringa, Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. This is my fourth or fifth tub of this. I'd been without it for a while. I was trying out a bunch of different things. And without fail, every time I come back to this, I know why I love it. And I think going forward, I'm just gonna stick with this guy. It's a great, great, great um, cleansing balm. It's got that beautiful scent of Moringa, which is just, again, it, it transports you. I love it. Um, and I love being able to go in at the end of the day and clean my face and kind of, there's a therapeutic element to it. You just you just clean off the day and let it go. <laughs> There's a kind of a stress relief element to, to, my, to my personal skincare routine, and I find it really, really necessary. So um, that's what I use for cleansers. And um, my second step is toner. So in the morning, I've been using the Clinique Clarifying Lotion 1.0. Um, I filmed a review on this guy that I will leave for you guys below, but this is my nice morning um, toner. I will use it sometimes in the evening if my skin is feeling particularly, um, like I went for a run the other day and, um, I wore a hat and sunglasses and all that kind of stuff to try to protect myself from the sun, but I still felt like I got a little bit more sun exposure than I wanted, which was good. It was good for my skin, but my skin felt a little bit just tender, um, or days where I've got, like, I had some hormonal breakouts. And so my skin just felt a little tender on those days. I'll use this in the evening as well. Cause I don't want to do too much to my face in terms of kind of an astringent acid. Um, so that's been lovely for that. And then on most other evenings, then I'll use my lotion P50 from Biologique Recherche, which is a beautiful, strong, um, exfoliating acid that just gets the job done that again, I come back to time and time again and, and I love it. So that's, um, my toner. Uh, then I go in with an eye cream, which is not technically, I guess, necessary. You're able to use kind of your serums and your normal creams all the way up in there. I have really sensitive eyes. I like splurging on this eye cream. It's probably more than I ever need, but it's my money. I enjoy spending it that way. I, it, it's the same reason where like you could get, I don't know, like a primer or a foundation or a mascara from the drugstore. You could buy one that's like four times as expensive. <laughs> if it makes you happy and it works for you, do it. Do you. Um, 
so the, the the my holy grail eye cream is the chanel sublimage like the emma hardy i've tried so many other things and as soon as i come back to this guy there's like a oh, moment i remember why i love it so much so i'm almost out of this guy i'm probably gonna have to grab another one but this guy is my holy grail that's what i use as an eye cream um, oh, I forgot before the eye cream. <laughs> I do this this spritz the hydrating toner This one is by herbivores the rose hibiscus I did a whole video on my favorite uh, facial mist of the moment and those three Yeah, there's three holy grail status. They're all amazing. They all add to that, you know Spa like self-care. I'm gonna say the same four words over and over again But they really take my skincare routine especially at the end of the day to the next level um, so I'll link that video down below uh, this is the one that I have been using the most in my daily routine, so it's the one I brought up to show you guys. But um, but yeah, hydrating mist is just a really lovely little treat. And then on to serum. So I think I found my holy grail serum, and it's the Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum. I think if these videos go up in the way that I in the order that I filmed them, you'll have seen the review to this yesterday. But I will link it down below in case you're watching this like not the day I upload it, and you're looking for it. I love 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 this serum. I won't get into too much detail because I have a whole dedicated like basically open, open love letter to it in that video. Um, but this guy has been really, really lovely. Uh, the Kipris oils, I also really love. Um, the Thousand Roses and the Midnight Catalyst, I have reviews to those both. I think they might all both be in one video. I'll link those ones down below. And then the one I've been testing for two weeks is the Leilani Champagne Serum, Happy Hour for Your Skin. I don't know about this guy. <laughs> it's only been two weeks, so um, I have broken out. I'm pretty sure these are hormonal breakouts and not due to this. So I'm gonna keep testing it for a couple weeks to see. My issue with this one though, like as a mini kind of spoiler, because a lot of you that are watching probably are, these are all things that I hauled, right? So you're probably curious. The smell of this guy, let me know if you've, you've used it. The smell of it is, hmm. <laughs> it's not like, like I use products that have funky smells. Like I've used Sunday Riley's, um, Good Jeans. I've used the Drunken Elephant Vitamin C Serum that like some of you have described as like fish curry or the smell of feet. I describe some of them as like bird poop. Like they don't smell good. This one makes me almost like nauseous. <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep using it and let you know how I feel. But if any of you have tried it, let me know your thoughts on it. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know yet. I don't want to say anything about it yet. Cause like I said, I haven't used it long enough to see the effects, but the smell was something that kind of took me aback. So I'll, um, I'll keep you guys posted. I also bought two of these bottles on impulse cause I was buying it online. I was paying for shipping. I came up with all kinds of excuses. Um, but if it ends up being something I don't like, I might do like a, I hate calling it a giveaway because I probably won't label as a giveaway. I won't even write anything in the description box. I'll just say it. So those of you that are here and watching that really have wanted to try it, um, I, I'll send it to one of you guys um, if it doesn't work. But I'll, I'll keep playing with it and, and seeing how it goes. So yeah, that's this one, which is the other option, but we'll see how much of an option long term it remains. And then that was a long ramble. And then my, my last step is my moisturizer. So I've got the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisturizer. I'm done. I'm done looking for other moisturizers. I love this guy. It's hydrating. It's nice and rich. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't have a smell. It's I'm more than halfway through this tub. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's been four and a half, five weeks and I'm almost like, I'm glad I have a backup because I will be through this um, before winter. I can guarantee you. So yeah, that, that's it. It's a lot more simplified than my normal routines have been. There's not as much a kind of rotating between products. Um, it's quicker, which I think just makes it so much more fun for me to go and, and get it done. Um, I see the results. So again, I'm excited by it and it's, it, it's, I'm happy. <laughs> like it's, it's been a long quest, but I'm so happy with the results and the process and the products themselves. So I thought I would share with you guys. Um, let me know if this inspired you guys to pick anything up. Let me know what your Holy Grail routine or products are. Let me know if you have any questions, all that kind of good stuff. I'm gonna do some quick points of positivity and I think that'll be all. My first point of positivity is a nice breakfast. I got to like hang out with my sister, my mom, and my brother this morning. We all had breakfast together, which was awesome. Um, my dad is out of town. There's no like big drama <laughs> in case anyone goes there with it. Um, he's just out of town. So we missed him, but it was nice to get together with the people that I love that are here. My second point of positivity is a nice like in home movie night with my sister yesterday. It was like nice to just, I fell asleep, full disclosure, and I started snoring and she didn't wake me up. When I woke up, she told me all these things. I'm like, you could have woke me up. No, <laughs> she would rather just make fun of me. But besides me falling asleep, it was really nice. 
and that uh, made me super happy. And then my third point of positivity is sitting with you guys today. It's been a rough, it's been a rough August, <laughs> but um, September's around the corner. I have good, positive, it's gonna be awesome uh, energy out into the universe. And just sitting here with you guys today, I just feel like I've gotten some stuff off my chest and, and um, I did a whole chatty video. I can link it down below. Um, but besides that, anytime I get to sit and focus on the positive and the fun stuff, it, it's just a lovely thing that makes me smile. So that is it for me today. As always, please, please, please do let me know what's making you guys smile. I will talk to you ever so soon <laughs> before I leave. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.